हेलो फ्रेंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट इकोनॉक्स व्हाट इज इकोनॉक्स व्हेन दे हैपन एंड हाउ दे हैपन यू विल नो अबाउट ऑल दिस क्वेश्चंस एंड आल्सो वी विल अंडरस्टैंड दीस टू इकोनॉक्स वन इज मार्च इकोनॉक्स एंड सेकंड इज सेप्टेम्बर इकोनॉक्स लेट्स बिगिन इकोनॉक्स इज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ टू थिंग्स अर्थ टिल्ट एंड इट्स ऑर्बिट अराउंड द सन एंड इकोनॉक्स इज एन इवेंट इन विच अ प्लानिट्स सब सोलर पॉइंट पासिस थ्रू द इक्वेटर द सब सोलर पॉइंट इज एन एरिया वेयर द सन्स रेज शाइन परपेंडिकुलर टू द अर्थ सरफेस इट मीन्स सन रेज directly hit on equator only this time means during an equinox the earth's axis which is 23.5 degree not tilting toward or away from the sun this time earth's axis is perpendicular to the sun on the date of the equinox no matter where you are or at any location the length of day and night are roughly equal on earth there are two equinox every year one around march 21 or 22 and another around september 22 first understand the march equinox the march equinox also known as the vernal equinox is a moment in time when the tilt of the earth's axis is not inclined towards or away from the sun this results in equal amounts of daylight and darkness for all parts of the earth the march equinox usually occurs on march 20th or 21st and marks the beginning of spring in the northern hemisphere and autumn in the southern hemisphere during the equinox the sun is directly above the earth's equator causing the sun's rays to shine equally on the northern and southern hemisphere this result in the length of day and night being roughly equally all over the world now let's understand september equinox the september equinox also known as the autumnal equinox is a moment in time when the tilt of the earth's axis is not inclined towards or away from the sun this result in equal amounts of daylight and darkness for all parts of the earth the september equinox usually occur on september 22nd and 23rd and marks the beginning of autumn in the northern hemisphere and spring in the southern hemisphere so in both cases during the equinox the sun is directly above the earth's equator causing the sun's rays to shine equally on the northern and southern hemisphere this result in the length of day and night being roughly equal all over the world i hope i have cleared about equinox here is a short summary about this an equinox occur twice a year around march 20 and september 22 when the tilt of the earth axis is not inclined towards or away from the sun nearly equal amounts of daylight and darkness for all parts of the earth this is also the time when the sun is at a 90 degree angle to the equator thank you so much for watching this video if you have any question do let me know in my comment box thank you